Hello everyone. Today we're going to examine the e-breach. Now, if you've bought some e-breaches, then in order to actually use them, you have to go to Manage Inventory on your ship or your Apex shuttle and add the e-breaches to your backpack. So it's best to do this at the start. And you can only carry four or five. Well, at the moment anyway, with the current suit. And the e-breach has a lot of uses. So you can actually use them to turn on settlements where you don't have level three access. So to do this, you also need to have a power regulator on you. So all you have to do is go to the you know reactor building, insert your power regulator as normal. Then you go to the panel, the control panel, and you have to use an e-breach to hack the panel. That's the only way you can get around the level three access problem. And then once you've hacked it, which takes a little little while, then you have to click engage regulator. So, and you can also do it with uh, the alarms and you know the def base defenses. So first you have to apply the e breach, let it do its thing, and then disable it. So that's what we're doing here. And you don't need to use an e-breach on, uh, you know, data ports there. You can just access them, assuming the, the, the settlement has been powered up. And once you apply the e-breach to the alarm, you have to actually then go and disable it. So don't forget to do that. And you can also use the e-breach to essentially give yourself a higher level of access when you're using a terminal. So if you go to a terminal without a high level of access, you won't be able to see where mission objectives are, for example. But if you use the e-breach in the terminal, it will effectively assume you've got a higher level of access. For most things anyway. So see, I can use it to locate where the mission objective is. Before, before this, if I didn't have level 3 access, I, or level 2 access, I wouldn't be able to see where the things are that I need to get to. You can use it to open doors as well. So you just apply it. It uses your secondary interact button, whatever you've got that assigned to. I have it as F. It takes a little while for it to work. And you can also use it to open lockers as well, although you can cut them open, but this will help if you're using a combat suit because it doesn't have a cutter. So if you buy a bunch of e-breaches, that can compensate for you not having a cutter. And you can use it in the yellow containers as well. Although it might not be economically efficient since it costs 25,000 credits, but most of the time it will be. And if you run out of e-breaches, you can go back to your ship and get more. So now I'm going to show you a little run where I make a mistake. So I use the e-breach to get through the doors. Use it again to open that door. Normally I wouldn't let them see me do that, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use the e-breach on, the, on these. So this gives me access to them. Now I forgot to actually turn them off after I pressed the e-breach. So once you use the e-breach, that gives you access, but you have to actually follow through and uh, turn them off. So now I'm just going to run away to my ship and now you can see the consequences of forgetting to turn off the alarm in a second. So 
So that should be the alarms going off because I forgot to actually turn them off after I e-breached. Yep, there it is. That's so the sentry skimmers are coming after me now because I didn't turn off the alarm. And I think there's one final um, surprise in store for me. Because I didn't turn off the alarm, that means the defence turrets are active. That's the uh, anti-ship gun. So remember, always turn off the alarm if you're, you know, wanting to run away hot. In fact, it's better to always turn off the alarm pretty much no matter what mission you're doing. 